हेलो यूट्यूब फैमिली वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू प्रोग्राम एंड डी कोड एनी आई आर कोड फ्रॉम योर नॉर्मल रिमोट कंट्रोल टू कंट्रोल योर होम डिवाइसेज विद द हेल्प ऑफ नॉट एम सी माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग सम मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल वन लाइब्रेरी इन टू आर आर डी नो आई डी सो वी विल गोइंग टू दर आर डी नो आई डी एंड इन आर डी नो आई डी यू नीड टू गो टू दी लाइब्रेरी मैनेजर सो फॉर लाइब्रेरी मैनेजर आई एम गोइंग हेयर एंड यू नीड टू सर्च फॉर आई आर रिमोट एंड यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइब्रेरी इन माई केस आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल्ड इट सो यू कैन इंस्टॉल एंड वंस द इंस्टॉलेशन इज डन so you need we can proceed we will good to go so first of all we are uh, proceeding with uh, decoding the signals from the normal remote control so let's suppose whichever button i am pressing into the remote it will sending some signals to the receiver so which type of signal is this so we that signals first we will decode in the form of hex value so one more point i have to tell you about here so if you want to check whether the remote is transmitting any signals or not so this is the ir signal so we can't able to see with the help of our naked eyes so what you can do so you can open your mobile camera i am showing it here and in the camera whenever you press this button there is one light will be seeing into the video so i am showing in this camera also you can see one blue light will be appear whenever i have pressing the button so like that you can check whether your uh, remote is or when any other ir send some signals or not so this is very uh, simple process to check whether your remote is sending a signals or not so yes let's proceed to our code part so now uh, we'll write one code to check whether we are getting some signals or not so uh, first of all we need to add a library here so the i remote library that we have installed we have including it here so once included we need to ins uh, declare some variable so here the pin whichever we have given in which the input is connected the data input is connected i have mentioned it here so once it is mentioned now we can give so yes uh, so let's uh, proceed for the code part so first of all we need to include the library which we have which we have installed here so we'll including it once included
uh, as we can see the code is now getting uploaded to the microcontroller so once it is uploaded uh, we can directly go to the serial monitor and check whether we, when we pressing any button in the remote it is showing some specific value or not so it is uploaded we go to the serial monitor and once we will reset the ECU as we can see uh, we have i am having the remote now we will press any button in the remote and see whether it is showing some specific value at the end or not so i am pressing the button so as we can see the the some specific value is there like 807fc837 and fffff so every time whenever i am pressing a button some specific value is there so that means i am pressing the ok button the ir code for this ok button is 807fc837 so this is uh, my projector button so now uh, we will see what is the ir code for the power on switch so i am pressing the power on switch so i have pressed this two three times so here it is showing i'm pressing it again here it is showing 807f02fd so that means this is for the power on or off button and this is for the ok button so uh, similarly i have one more remote over here so this is uh, for my uh, lights that i have installed in my window so this is for on and off so again uh, we can see how the what is the values for this particular buttons so we simply we will just um, press the button in front of this so here we can see ffa25d is the code for the on button for this particular remote so similarly we can take uh, any remotes and we can check whether we are getting some specific values or not at this particular end and we can note it down these particular values so that later when we are going to write the code for sending the ir signals then this particular codes will be required so for now i am uh, writing the some codes for this particular remote and this particular remote so that we can test a small program so let's go move to the next part of, our, of the video So hello guys, uh, so previously we have seen how to decode the IR codes from the remote control. So now what we have to do now the, with the help of same IR remote library. So now we are going to transmit that particular signals with the help of IR transmitter. So here what we have done, we have connected one push button along with the IR transmitter with the microcontroller. So that whenever we push the button, so IR transmitter will send some set of signals to particular device. So for that, uh, I have written a small piece of code. So here we have connected uh, one TX pin that is the trans IR transmitter pin and one push button with the two pin. So like that, uh, we have simply just set up boy is here. And in the loop, whenever the push button is pressed, so it will send some signal, some hex value to IR transmitter that already we have decoded. So here it is uses using the NEC protocol for transmitting the signal. So let's see uh, what it will do. I'm uploading the code. So now it is uploading. 
so once uploaded so we'll try by pressing the push button so here uh, we, we are, i am pressing the push button so once press so it we can see the it is the ir sense is ir sensor so here also when we have pushed the button so the led is blink that means some signals or sort of signals will be transmitting it to the so yes Thank you all for watching this i hope that you have learned something from this video so if you have liked this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video as much as you can so i will be see you in the next video